Oscar's about to be shut down after what sick host plans to do to Trump accidentally leaks. It's unbelievable how a whole industry can insist on doubling down on stupid. They really seem to not even care that people have stopped watching their movies and TV shows. And it looks like tonight's Oscars show will once again be a bust and will be no different than the same garbage we have been seeing from Hollywood for the past 30 years. As they planning to promote the so-called hashtag Metu movement. But of course, they can't stop there. Since these narcissist actors also suffer from Trump derangement syndrome they, of course, have to bring President Trump into the mix in order to deflect from their own cesspool that is Hollywood. Sources close to Stormy Daniels have now confirmed that someone from the Academy of Motion Pictures production team has in fact reached out to Stormy late last week asking for permission to use the now infamous 2006 picture of Trump and Stormy partying in a golf clubhouse. Although it's unclear if the image would be integrated as part of Jimmy Kimmel's opening monologue or drawn out as part of an ongoing attack against our president. It's not yet known if Daniels has approved of the use of the picture, or the narrative as of this morning. Now let me get this straight. Hollywood, who is plagued with pedophiles and child rapists is trying to take President Trump to task because of an alleged affair he had back in 2006. Over 12 years ago. But at the same time, they are silent on former President Bill Clinton and his proven indiscretions in the Oval Office and the accusations he has had of rape. Then Hollywood asks why us normal folk don't want to shed out any money to watch their garbage anymore. Hey Hollywood, here's a thought. How about you contact Stormy Daniels, but you also add Juanita Broadrick to your call list. Because although Trump's alleged affair from 12 years ago was consensual, what Bill Clinton is being accused of doing to Juanita Broderick wasn't. Washington, D.C. While the Washington Post was busy putting the finishing touches on the release of a video in which Donald Trump boasted about hitting on women, Juanita Broderick was in town at the historic Watergate Hotel, where she repeatedly broke down in tears during a powerful video interview exclusive to Breitbart News, recounting what she described as the life-changing experience of being raped by Bill Clinton. Trembling, Broderick explained that she is still afraid of Bill Clinton and asserted that she is frightened by the prospect of Hillary Clinton winning the election. She described the alleged rape in vivid detail, providing the most extensive window yet into the sinking 